There we are. <laughs> there we are again. Yay! Yay! We're back! Yay! <laughs> we are Lee and Sherry with Relationship Reinvented, and we are here to finish up, well, not finish up, but to finish answering your Twin Flame questions that we had from before that we didn't get time to answer in the last show, and to do a little bit of discussion. And we're going to be doing this every week, so keep posting your questions. Um, you can find us at relationshipreinvented.com and twinflames.me. I Ooh. know how to get to us. <laughs> and um, we're at Relationship Reinvented on Facebook, too. Yes. That's where we're at. You know what? I, you know, we, we talked a little bit about Relationship Reinvented before, and we've talked about the whole Twin Flame uh, dynamic, but we talked about what it is that we actually do and how this is about um, the relationship you have to yourself and how you can actually change everything based on that relationship you create inside yourself because you're always creating it. it's whether or not you're carrying the other stuff that goes with it but before we go all into that <laughs> um, we actually do gonna we're gonna read some questions here um, this one came from a dear client of ours she's so sweet um, all of our clients are sweet well, yes they are <laughs> well but, there's a couple you know who you are. <laughs> we love you anyway. <laughs> because we have uh, kissed and made out before, how can you tell when it's real as far as the connection? Was that from those clients? Uh, no. No, this is actually... Because um, <laughs> it sounds like well, it. Well, the thing, I think the question really pertains to when you let go of psychological time, which is actually another part of the question. And you actually, in that moment where you're kissing and you're actually connected, mm -hmm. we remember that. I mean, we, well, we know what that is. Right. But that's, um, that's actually, yeah, you really can kind of tell because there's something that happens to you inside that you can't translate in thought. You can't right. translate and make it something different. You just feel the essence and the pure energy that's there. And it's just so. Here it goes. Two minutes in. Wow. I look. <laughs> But do you, Not, I mean, what, how would you answer that? Right. No, I'm right there with you. Um, it's, wow, so spiritual. That's a good word. Yes. I, I'll go with that word. Yes. I like that word. Um, we hear it's it undefined. a lot. Yeah, it? we hear it a lot, too. Um, uh, you know, we kissed and things caught on fire inside and I was hot down there and all this stuff was happening to me. And then we hear it. I was able to leave my body and go into his. Oh, yeah. Thing. Well, you, we're able to do that. You're able to do that anytime. That is so you know, amazing. It's funny because when, when we talk to people who are connected, they don't spend the majority of their time there. Are you right. out of your mind? Spent, yes, you have to be out of your mind. That's pretty much how you go there. I'm out of my mind. Yes. Okay, Sometimes. so I think we, we, we answered that one. Okay, so if your TF has a biological twin, which mine is, does the twin sister have the same soul as myself and my TF? All right, <clears throat> this is interesting because you have to remember that the connection itself is n embedded in a place that's inside of you both that resonates a vibration energy that maybe all three of you can feel, but highly doubtful. Um, this vibrational twinge that I'm talking about, if you're feeling it from both, then well, you, should, you really need to pay attention a little closer because it could be that, remember, as they're twins, they may be split in different parts of the energy. You may be able to talk to one about one thing and talk to the other about another thing. But the goal is to find out which one can which one is complete inside of themselves and whole inside of themselves and that wholeness that you feel within your own wholeness is the, the answer to the question. Is that, yes. would you answer it that way? Exactly that way, yes. So it's, it's very important that the communication um, that you have is it you'll know which twin you feel it from. You'll know. I mean, there's something in you that gets vibrated awake and you might not feel that with the other one. It really is dependent upon that. It, it, you only have one true source of where you're connected. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. I think we, 
uh, hope we answered that. Already. Well, if if not, please send us another yeah. message. But I would tell you that you have to pay attention to what you feel inside and not overthink it. Go with the feeling itself, mm -hmm. that gut feeling, because yes. that gut feeling is going to tell you the truth. Yes. Um, psychological time. What is it? I don't understand the difference between clocks and psychology. Well, you know that space that your mind doesn't have to create uh, what was or what is to be? Um, that's getting rid of psychological time. Um, that's purely being completely in the moment without even looking at a watch or a clock or a phone or anything that's really trying to tell you what it is um, as far as what the mind can absorb. Because remember, everything's related to time or relative to time when it comes to the mind. Let that go. It doesn't really serve a purpose. Whether it's daytime or nighttime, it's still just a matter of time. And that time really doesn't make a difference <laughs> no matter how you look right. at it. And remember, you are timeless deep inside. The thing we make time is the age and the difference and the experiences and everything else. For all of that, when you really sum it all up, is just one simple moment. That fleeting glimpse of what your wholeness is, is without time. Yes. Okay. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> is this where you make like the funny now? No, I would okay. never. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, so here's... But do you not trust this one, This one I thought was a really good one. Um, I wondered if Sherry was really in love or felt satisfied with the feelings of love in her marriage after having met Lee. I can't really imagine being with anyone else, which drives me nuts as my TF runs by getting involved with other women. Thus far, ones who bring down our collective frequency as they are into drugs, alcohol, etc. So I'm curious if, if it would be fair to another person for me to ever be involved with someone else other than my TF. Thank you. Oh, way to put somebody on the spot right there. Um, <laughs> you think it was on the spot? No, not too bad. Because I, um, I have a clear answer, or I hope it's clear. And to catch everybody up who does not know our entire story, after um, Lee and I met and um, we connected and then we disconnected, um, I met somebody else and got engaged and actually married him um, and subsequently had um, a child. And uh, so the question is if Sherry was really in love or felt satisfied with the feelings of love. I didn't even know what love was. Um, I, and I was in my 40s. But uh, I knew what comfortable was and I knew what security was and I knew what um, uh, I knew that I had feelings for him yes um, it was that whole I was I loved him but I was not in love with him thing that's hard to explain I know but um, it was the way that I'm going to answer this is it was a very human marriage a very human relationship it was um what there was no spiritual connection there was no spirituality um it was a regular everyday happy at times bad at times marriage and knowing that i was connected to somebody else carried feelings of anger and guilt and so much junk inside of me that I actually would find myself taking it out on him, which wasn't fair. And um, at that time, I really, really, really felt connected to Lee, but there was a disconnection that I was trying to push because he was he was asleep at the wheel and that was a lifestyle that I couldn't be a part of because it was reckless and I couldn't see having that in my in my life and in my children's lives um, and as the marriage went on and Lee and I were best friends through the marriage um, he 
a, he woke up and we became closer and I fell asleep and it was part of that, um, it was part of the journey that we had to go on and it ended at the point where my husband ended up saying, why aren't you with him? That's, this is, why aren't you with him? And it, it, the marriage was, there was anger issues on both parts and he was angry because he wasn't getting from me what I, what I should have been giving him because it wasn't for him, unfortunately. Do you want to add something? Mm, the only line I could really add here is if you're living a lie, it can make you very unconscious. Very unconscious. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by unconscious is you will become destructive and not even see it, and you'll hold the other person responsible for it. Um, and it's painful because what you know inside is that there's a love that's stronger and a love that's more vibrant and a love that really opens you up inside, but you have to remain closed in it. And I think you end up hurting yourself more because you're denying yourself whatever the truth may be for you. Um, this connection has a power to get straight to the truth, no matter what that truth is going to give you, no matter what you have to go through. Um, it's that little tiny lie that's on top of there that just keeps, keeps you incarcerated. It keeps you, um, from ever being able to truly experience something stronger. So it, it's really quite powerful, and um, and from, from a standpoint that if you really did jump to the other side, what would it do? And, and it makes the mind play those mental movies of the destruction and the, the pain and the torture and you, all you want to do is just, you know, you have that family mechanism in you too. You want to keep everybody together. But then the other side of it says, but wouldn't they really Benefit, experience so right. much more from a love that's much more powerful? The negative is always going to outweigh the positive when you look at it. And you don't want to take that leap because you think, oh, if I jump off of here, I'm, I'm jumping without a parachute. And yes, yes you are, but it's like I said, you can't take flight until you jump. Right. And the truth about um, being in such a spiritual relationship is it everybody else notices it and they feel the connection when you're together, which is um, exactly what happened with my husband. And um, he, the, it brings the truth out. It brings the truth out in people and it became a very understanding, very loving, and very forgiving. And it, this spiritual connection is what brought that out. It's what brings that out. Go ahead. He's got a very beautiful heart. Oh, yes. I yes. mean, mm -hmm. for somebody to see that kind of love and go, you know, why aren't you two? Yeah. It takes a very, very delicate kind of heart to be able to see the truth. And realize the truth and then realize how much more love you can give in that process for that mm -hmm. we love you very much Ron. and he's a very big part of our lives uh, well yeah he really is always will be and um, always will be very big part of our lives he's just one of our uh, greatest friends and he's over here a lot and we have him for dinner and which really leads into what we were we were going to talk about today we're going to take a few minutes and talk about compassionate listening um, I'm having issues. I'm having light issues. Go ahead. Well, the light keeps it's coming. The it's the glow. <laughs> well, you always glow. It's the glow. You always glow. It is the glow. Um, compassionate listening. Um, yes. You know, the, the belief is that there's not anybody who can hear what's going on on the inside of you. And, and most of the times you could possibly be right in your own mind that nobody can hear you. But the truth is, is when you start to hear yourself deeper inside, you'll be able to listen more clearly to others. Um, I think that we, we give each other a lot of space in that mm -hmm. regard um, because we know that it's never ending. We know that it needs to grow. We know that it needs to, to be something that we don't have to say inside mm -hmm. ourselves because we're not alone. We share the space no matter what. Right. And 
beneath everything, beneath the mind noise, beneath the even just the spirituality or the way that spirituality has been out there in the world, there is a space there where we actually have to know what's going on inside of ourselves and how we can tell the other person. And sometimes it's a, it's a great challenge. It's, it's very challenging to say, okay, I said and did some things or hurt, or, or, or hurt you in a certain way, but it was because I was already hurting in the first place. And when you find that space that you can actually talk and say those kinds of things, you really do change the connection itself, or not really change it, but you really embrace what the connection really does give you. And it's not about somebody telling you what you feel inside. It's not about somebody telling you that what you feel isn't real. It's more or less, you now know that it's the real truth because you can express it. Right. And I love you so much for doing that for me. And, and I love that you do it back. It's, it's one of the most powerful things, I think, in our connection. It's natural. It's very, well, it took a while to be natural. But, <laughs> right. But you're right. It, right. it Now it, be, it is more natural. Mm -hmm. um, we used to have knockdown, drag out fights that would last days. And you could still feel the tension and the energy. Whereas now we don't have that. Right. I mean, we, we have it, but it, it, it happens shorter. It's, 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 it's shorter more or less. Band. And, you know, the thing about when you have to We go, don't have knockdown, drag out fights anymore. Well, we we kind of do. There you go. <laughs> I mean, but I love that about there, There's always something that happens mm -hmm. when that happens. Trust me. I've been really trying. This is a family show. I keep telling you every week, it's a and, family show. And, and I, I get that. I'm compassionately listening to that part. I understand what that means. Video and, bomber. Um, there's a video bomber. And and I get that we have to um, be that be that to each other. But that doesn't mean that we're really not showing anything yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yes, video bombed, of course. Mike, say hello to everybody. <laughs> he, he's, he's wanting yes. attention. He's video bombing. Yes. Okay. Okay. Do something. Okay, go ahead. Dance a jig, okay. something for the people. What do you want to say about compassionate listening? Um, it's, it's difficult. It's very difficult for those who doesn't who don't understand um, what it is it's very hard to listen compassionately when somebody's saying something you don't want to hear um, it's very hard to listen to somebody who's saying things that are hurtful um, did you just <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to push him away because he he'll did, jump he up really and did. knock this over stop but he's, Mike he's, go <laughs> Jesus Christ this is, this is Okay, but go this ahead. Is going downhill mm -hmm. yes. fast. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks. <laughs> Come um, Come it's Come it's 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 hard, Sit. but it's it's a it's a it's a learned. Would you would you agree? It's a learned action or behavior. I believe that no matter it, what happens, the connection itself pushes the energy forward and you don't really have a choice. Right. You have to find the path to go, okay, maybe what I'm feeling inside, I need to just tell her about and not attack her with. Right. Um, and you do the same. You go, you know what? I need to tell him about it, but I can't attack him with it. Right. And it becomes almost, a, you're right. It becomes very difficult because you, very do difficult. Right. because you do you want to. Right. Because you want to, um, you want to, be defensive you do and you want to attack back um and sometimes i, well, I not... i'm finding now that i just stay in my emotion um when when you're saying things that are hurtful to me or that i don't believe in or that i don't believe is true um I, I, I stay in my emotion, and then once I get the emotion out, then I, then, I, then I compassionately listen. Once I get the initial cry or, um, usually it's cry, once I get that going, <laughs> once the waterworks start, then I can tell my mind to shut up and then learn how to 
learn how to listen. And did you hear any of that? Yes, I heard it all. <laughs> Mike didn't. Mike wasn't. He was. He was really testing it. Yeah, he was. <laughs> um, no, I, I I heard that completely, because what what we experience when we when we first started realizing, you know what, our communication needs to greatly increase. And we didn't understand how to do that. Right. Oh, my God, did we oh, not yeah. understand Oh, yeah, yeah, our communication was a hot mess. Oh, fast. yeah, because it was like we were both internal mind readers. And you guys all know what we're talking about when you read somebody's mind and you're like, this is why they're doing this. Mm -hmm. This is why they're acting the way. This is why they're behaving. This person shouldn't be trusted. This person, and then you feel that feeling. And it says, what are you talking about? The, the connection was was pretty solid mm -hmm. and, and didn't really care what we were thinking or doing right. to each other. It just said, mm, uh, mm -hmm. no, staying right here. And um, I think we, we, we talk to a lot of people who go through that. They go through the feeling of, well, how come they're not listening to me? How come, how come they're running? Or how come when I say this, I know that they, they get quiet or they get defensive? But it's a lot to absorb because you feel the connection still, but you, you also see that the connection is trying to give you something else. And you can't translate it from what your mind can tell you to say. And it becomes, it really does take the compassionate listening to come in in order for you to really grasp the connection itself. There's no interruption in that. Um, the compassion that it takes to listen to somebody without your mind coming in and trying to translate what they say is where this really does point. Yeah. Because when you try to make it something else, you got to let somebody walk through the steps to tell you exactly what they mean. Because mm -hmm. some people will say whatever's coming to them right off the bat, and it, and it can be very painful. And if you can't understand where it's coming from, you now have to try to figure it out in here, and it doesn't work out that way. So, yes, agreed. So, um, moving on from that, you think we touched on that enough? Yeah, I think we really talked. Mm -hmm. I think what really boils down to is what's going on inside you mm -hmm. in this connection. It does take a certain way that you have to go inside yourself to understand how you communicate. And if you don't, if you're not communicating correctly, or if you're not communicating at all, you're going to miss the most important part of it. Right. Um, so just make sure that that's something you stay focused in. Speaking of Ron. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's call and find out what's let's, going on. Let's call okay. right in the middle of the recording. There goes the ex-husband right, right there. Right. <laughs> I think that's this should be enough for everybody to really kind of just uh, reach out. And um, one of the things that we can really help you do is understand how you're connecting inside yourself and how you're communicating inside yourself that may be keeping you directly from the connection itself. Mm -hmm. This is not about what we can teach or guide or anything because we become as much of a student when we actually listen to you and hear where you're coming from and what you're going through. Um, and it's and it's very uh, eye-opening when you start to see how you communicate and how that impacts the other person. Oftentimes we um, don't communicate because we feel like it's going to be hurtful to the other person what we're feeling or what we're thinking. I did it. I didn't want to disappoint you. I didn't want you to think less of me. I didn't want you to feel like I was failing. I didn't want you to look at me differently. I didn't want you to judge me. I didn't, I mean, I could go on and on and on. Um, and Shady. some of those things happened, right? They did. Right. Some but. of those things happened, but it's the fear that keeps us from communicating. Right? Yeah. I know. But mm -hmm. what I feel for you. Aside from anything else, anybody else, even just doing the least, I get to spend every waking moment with you. And there's no judgment in that. Right. There never will be. Right. And it really does help me understand and better gravitate to my own wholeness, knowing that 
that's what I want to do for the remaining time that I'm here. <laughs> and that's <laughs> what we are here to help everybody else who reaches out to us for help. That's that's why we're here. That's what that's why we do what we do to help you get to to this point, to help you in your journey, to bring you to the place. Go ahead. Well, to bring you to the place that's inside you that already has this in it. Yes. You yes. can't reach it with all the other noise that goes on and all mm -hmm. of the the things that you keep trying to find out there are not the things that you need to find out there. You need to find them in here. Right. Right. There's no there's no YouTube video, there's no blog post, there's no book, there's no there's nothing out there psychic <laughs> well, reading that can that will bring a lot you of them to, a lot of them do open up the inside. Oh yeah, I'm not saying that they're bad things. They're okay. not. No, 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 not at all. Okay. But it's in you anyway. <laughs> it's already <Yeah>. there. <laughs> Look, to, it's like already it. inside of you. And and reaching out for help isn't isn't wrong at all. Not, not at, all. at all. At all. Not at As all. a matter of fact, I really do wish we would have had. <laughs> well, so, we we did. We did in a way that we kept dreaming mm -hmm. and and even in those dreams we were we were shown our own actions mm -hmm. we were shown the outcomes of our actions we were mm -hmm. shown what it was doing and it yeah. we were guided don't get it we don't were, get it wrong we were, we were guided, guided spiritually yes we were and that's why we're here now that's and, why we're and and that's where we coach from it's where we teach from where we've been but we're still students. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And we're oh, students yeah. we with all of you that watch. And and well, I don't even know learn is the word I would mm -hmm. choose. I would choose um, the wisdom that mm -hmm. comes from doing. Mm -hmm. um, that's what this is for. Mm -hmm. um, because again, we learn a lot from all of you, and we learn a lot from what we experience with each other. Mm -hmm. So, on that note, <laughs> we um, <laughs> coach from our souls. We coach you and guide you from where we've been, not so much from our educational background or our coaching training or any of that stuff that we, you know, we got. We just coach from our souls and we sometimes um, get a little, I, I don't want to say harsh or brutal because I don't want to turn people off, but sometimes it takes that to go all the way inside. If you're hiding, um, we tend to bring that out and bring you to a place where you are completely free and awake inside yourself, therefore opening the doors where your twin can find you. And you can find yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That it's, is, that's what this connection is, is for more than anything is, is for that connection inside the self. And it's just as much for us as it is for you. Yeah, I, I, I would say that we didn't go through all of this to keep it to ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> and we have uh, so Lord, much... Lord, please make sure that's not why we did it. <laughs> <laughs> we have so much love and support in our, in our Facebook group and in our workshops and in our classes and, and so many kind messages. And if at any point we had got to the point where we were like, you know what? we're not doing the right thing, then a message comes along, just a simple message that says what you guys are doing has changed my life, makes it all worth it. Yeah. And there's one last thing I want to leave you with. Don't always stay in the negative side of this connection. Mm. Um, staying in the negative side really doesn't give you the truth about the positive side. And the positive side can shine some light on the negative side. Mm -hmm. Because you've gotten your whole experience in this existence uh, in the dark, not realizing that there was another voice there in sync with your own. So make sure you know that and know that that's the path to love deeply. That's why we do this. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys very much. Don't forget, you can find us on Relationship Reinvented. 
Dot com. <laughs> and you can email us, uh, relationshipreinvent at me.com. And, uh, of course, we just launched uh, twinflames.me, and we are seeing very positive response there because we're not we're, we're staying with what's inside of you, not what's inside the, 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 the other stuff that people really, I think, will understand about the connection and are seeking answers to. We're going to make sure that that's out there, and we need to make sure that you know that these answers are inside of you, not anybody else but you. Gosh, we're on Twitter. Yeah, our um, reinvent. Um, we're on Facebook. We are as, on Facebook. Um, we have the Relationship Reinvent Reinvented Group, um, which wow, twenty six hundred, almost twenty seven hundred members that now. And, and thank you. That blows my mind. Um, that blows my mind. Every morning we wake up, there's just like a. Do you remember? Oh, but we knew this. I we, love we dreamed it. it. We uh, yes. actually. You know the movie uh, Field of Dreams. Mm -hmm. uh, if you build it, they will come. Yes. And 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 we hope that coming to this field, you're actually seeing the truth about the field of consciousness that we're trying to to bring uh, here in in this world because it really needs it. Whether it's a um, any kind of connection, the connection to the self needs to be mended. Thank you for being a part of our family. It's family. Family. Love that word. It is family. Yes, it is. And we are also on Google Plus. Yes, yes, we, we are. to mention that. <laughs> well, we didn't. I'm still trying we... to learn that mess, but I'm getting it. Failure is only when you don't try to do something. Mm. That's right. I've been trying for weeks. Thank you guys for coming. We'll Thank talk you, to you for soon. watching.